psyched about that. Okay. It's an improvement for the day. Oh, that just holds up the setting. Um, gotta go back to switch inputs. Okay. Welcome back. Let's see if I can see. All right. Well, okay. I never did get the expansion to Grim Dawn. I've thought a lot about playing the Grim Dawn. It's quite a fun game. Um, maybe I should I should play that. It's just it's it's just a lot of time. Hours and hours to play that game. Just excellent though. Really well done. Diablo-esque. Well, today is a little bit warmer down here. I have the um, space heater near me, and we're at 61 degrees today. Um, I'm not going to hook up my heart monitor today because um, I forgot to, and I'm only going to stream for like 40 minutes now because I had a meeting ahead of me. But I think that's okay. We'll, we'll be all right with that. Have you gotten the expansion for Grim Dawn? What am I doing? What time of day is it? I'm just playing yesterday. It looks like I'm kind of tired. A little thirsty. Let's just. You know what I just did? I just came back from a big hike. I was out hiking. And I came across the corpse of a bear that I had, I had slain. That was, that was special. That was, I will hold that that gaming session dear in my heart. Uh, that was quite wonderful. For some reason, though, every time I think of, of like a long gaming session, um, playing games with with you, my my dears at Wilder, I keep getting my wires crossed on our Ninja Gaiden uh, long gaming session and how. Much junk food we ate. We just ate so much junk food. I... It's not healthy. But it was very fun. We certainly used... Yeah, up in Duluth. Yeah. Um, we used a lot of that... That Costco... Or that was a Sam's Club membership to the gate to get all of those treats. Well, hello, V.E. Cougar. So today, in the wonderful world of, of working, I had two separate people just just not not have a meeting actually go through where I was there for the meeting. And they didn't show up. Just makes me frustrated. So it's really good when you have things that frustrate you in your life to have something that makes you relax. 12 hour Diablo 2 full playthrough when we did. Involves a large pyramid of pop cans. Yeah. I am very surprised um, that none of those antics resulted in any di diabetes for either of us. Um, there's also um, Titan Quest in at your place growing up that was quite fun with uh, Trapper John. Yeah, I, I think so too. I um I was thinking about 
this being a nice way to res relieve some frustration. The key is I really don't want to take a whole lot of risks today in the long dark, because I don't... I don't really want to deal with with the consequences of any rash decisions, so we're just going to play it pretty cool today. I'm not going to do a whole lot. I might... You know, I think... I think the mood is striking me right now. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do some drawing. I think that's gonna feel nice. Old Trapper John. I'm really gonna try to survey more of these areas and get used to my my surroundings a little bit more. Maybe I'll chop a little bit of wood. I don't really want to do a whole lot of extra curriculars today because I'm. My dude's already pretty sleepy. I'm just gonna have a little walk about. Making sure to keep a sharp eye for any unfriendly critters. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Consequences are just the worst. Don't like dealing with those ever. I'm just having a nice walk around. See if we find anything interesting. What do we got here? This looks like part of the cedar limb here clipping through. It's less exciting than I want. If there's any caves. Dr. Dunderhead, am I a real doctor? No. I'm not. <sighs> Unfortunately, no, I'm not a real doctor. I am... I have stolen valor. I'm, like, counting down the days. Thank you! Nice to... Nice to meet you, other fake doctor. Welcome. I do teach at a college, and I have to remind my colleagues, because it's in a like, community college system, they jokingly call me professor, and I have to remind them there's actual doctors who work here, and they would be pissed if you were calling me a doctor, and not them a doctor. They call me... Doctor First Name. I don't like this branch. Let's... Let's collect this one. I don't get too tired, I don't think. Yeah, that's a nice branch. Really, I want to check the stat here. Well fed. I'm real concerned that pretty soon we're gonna have some cabin fever, everybody. And like not the not the good kind. Whenever I think of the word cabin fever. <laughs> well said, V.E. Kruger. That's doctor to you. Okay guy. Whatever. Um, whenever I think of Cabin Fever, I think of one of the few VHSs that I had. Actually, we probably had a decent number. Look at the sunset. Isn't that nice? Gosh. I had a copy of Muppet Treasure Island with Tim Curry in it. Tim Curry was the bad guy. He was wonderful. And they have a Cabin Fever song in there where they're all losing their minds and it's still kind of a song and gets stuck in my head whenever I hear the, the words cabin fever. That's probably okay. I'm okay with that. It's good to think about the Muppets every now and again. Like, not not like in a weird way, but you know, unless it is. There's, it is, I guess, but... Okay. 
pretty good quality entertainment there. Well, my dude's pretty sleepy. Oh gosh, the sunset. Look at those colors. Please like and subscribe. Ha! <laughs> uh, I should put that... I should put that joke in the stream title. I don't remember having much to do with the actual... Oh, what was that Cabin Fever movie? Was that a, was it a horror movie or was it like a... Like a... Um, like an Ernest-esque comedy. I haven't thought about that in a long time. Horrorish? I mean, no cabin in the woods. That's good. Oh, I just thought about Dale and Tucker versus Evil. Dale and Tucker versus Evil. Man, I love that movie. So good. You know, when you have such a stressful time, people assuming that you're a serial killer, it's really nice to just kick back and relax in the woods for a while. They are quite good. Let's drop off. Twelve. Cattail heads, my goodness. That's quite a few. Well, I don't really need to I don't really need to do a whole lot. My dude's pretty set. We're gonna have a big drink of water, which I should do as well. I'm badly dehydrated in real life right now. I um I'm just parched. I just forget to drink water because that's hard. Hello, Apex Shark 101. And Tim Beep. Wizard needs water badly. Yes, Wizard does. It's snowing today in Minnesota. I had a wonderful time strolling about. That's why I'm wearing a different hat. Thanks. I'm wearing a different big rabbit fur hat today because my other one is soaked. Because um, I took a stroll about in the snow today. And uh, it is just wonderful. I just was so pleased. I was trying to focus on work today and I just I had to... I moved my whole workstation down. Which means a laptop, of course. Down away from my office, which is mostly just all the windows are covered up with stuff. Um, to kind of the sunroom, living room area, so I could just, instead of working, basically just stare out at the snow. I was just so happy about it. Yeah, so was my other flannel. I'm kind of see-through right now. This is, this is the problem. I'm using a blue screen, and I can kind of, I'm a little, I chose a blue flannel, and I think it was a mistake. I'm gonna just relish being like part ghost right now. We're gonna be okay with that. Go with it, yeah. It's it's good. Then then I'm not blocking these um, buttons as much. So we're having a nice time here in the long dark. A little bit of relaxation. A little R and R. I have a. Uh, Yeah, I think I might get a rotation of them. I think I have I have two of these that are nice and furry. These are the best ones. They're so warm. They're wonderful. Um, I also have a couple other ones that have they have ear flaps. They're not quite bombers, but they're they're pretty close. Um, maybe I'll I'll have a rotation. After touching this though, there's um, you probably can't see it, but there's floaty bits of rabbit fur trying to go up my nose. Grab this. How much meat do I have left? Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kilograms of deer left. So that's about eight thousand calories. I consume 
probably 3,000 a day. So they've got enough food for a couple more days, I think, here. I think maybe I'm calculating that wrong. I There's a good chance I am. But we're set for a little while. I think I might soon, if I see that deer out there again, I might, might have to kill it. Um, but really, we want to get out of this zone so that I can go and start sleeping with the fishes. As in sleeping in the ice house so that I don't get cabin fever. Um, which is going to be over in my other uh, abode. My other hangout spot. Um, so... I'm going to take a drink and a drink of water here. Where are we? Do I have a sharpener with me? I think I might have put it in the... There we go. I have a sharpener. You know, my hatchet is just... Dull as hell. I'll sharpen it for a while. Now, okay, here's something fun. Um, so, the other day... So, okay, hang on. I'm going to keep sharpening this as I talk about this. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do a bonus, a, a bonus stream tomorrow. Or maybe Thursday, or maybe both. Um, definitely tomorrow. Um... Because I got, I have a new project that I want to do. Uh, basically, a um, uh, my sister-in-law had a, a family member pass away, and they had some hunting knives that she asked me to sharpen and restore, um, so that she can give them to uh, another family member. And so I got a new sharpening jig. It's new, like it's like it's kind of a big pile of stuff. Um, here's one component of it. Um, this is one piece of it, uh, and so I'm thinking for tomorrow's stream, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sharpen some knives. I think I'm just gonna sharpen some knives for a while. Um, and here's, here's one of the knives that I'm gonna be working on. They're both like hunting, oh, this one's a hunting knife. Um, nice. Good. I like that, the Kruger. This one's a hunting knife. The other one is, it's actually kind of, it's a little scary. It's a bayonet. I don't really like it that much. Um. But uh, I'm going to sharpen uh, both of these tomorrow on the stream, and uh, I think that'll be that'll be good. I'm going to I'm going to have a lot of fun figuring that out. I have like another like five to ten knives that I want to sharpen anyway. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I'm thinking muted or at least very quiet with music in the background because I don't. I don't know if anyone actually wants to listen to that. It might be kind of awful. It won't sound as nice as this. Okay, I think I could actually set that up. Is that Wilder? Wilder? You absolutely want to hear it? I need to make sure I don't cut myself, though, so I can't just stare at the... Maybe I could use an elaborate system of mirrors to not hurt myself while I do that activity. Um, but I will... I will see. Maybe we can do the... We'll do the fireplace thing. I think I can actually work... I can... We can do it. Um... This is really dangerous because I could just accidentally hit harvest on my on my only gun, and then I wouldn't have a gun. I would just have parts of a gun. I don't know if I could stop myself once I started. Hey, Amanda. Hope you're having a rad day. Um. All right. Well, I where did I put my water? I have a whole bunch of it. I think instead of finding my water, I'm just gonna. I'll take another nap. Yeah, I think I'll do the fireplace thing. That sounds good. And I'll, uh, because I'd have to move the cameras anyway. Alright. Let's see if we have any warnings about cabin fever yet. Nope, nothing yet. It only really takes place after a while first to get the cabin fever warning. Let's see how my clothes are doing. 98, 87, 9. I think I'm going to repair this wool sweater here.
sounds really windy outside, so I'm gonna stay inside and sew. So we got that repaired. What else we got? Maybe we'll, let's repair these socks too. I've got a bunch of extra cloth. Might as well. Water. It's not exactly plenty, but it's not bad. We're going to take, well, let's take a liter and a half of that. Take a sip here. Quench my thirst. I'm going to take a sip in real life, too. Because staying hydrated prevents heart attacks and kidney stones like feeling bad or so I've been told by the internet ah oh, jeez I didn't mean to eat that okay wow I stopped myself midway when I hit that and I only ate part of my candy bar I'm surprised by that mechanic I'm pretty excited to have all these Cattail stocks to eat because they don't go bad. It's always good to have stuff that doesn't go bad in this game because stuff generally does go bad, and that's not good. Yeah, what's this weather like? Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised by that. I wasn't expecting that mechanic to happen. Pretty excited for my my Sunday stream as well. Had a really nice time this last Sunday working on the SparkFun Inventors kit. Had a really good time with that. I had to really stop myself from just continuing to do stuff. Oh goodness. From just continuing to try my hand at that SparkFun Inventors kit. We're not going anywhere in this. I'm excited to do that again this Sunday. Learn some more with some of y'all. It's my first time really getting into any electrical engineering stuff, so I'm really eager to learn it. And also a total new, which I'm hoping some of you at least are. Now, has anyone ever driven in this kind of snow. I've only one time, I've, I've lived in Minnesota my whole life, I've been through a lot of snowstorms, driven through a lot of them myself. Only once have I been like, this is a total whiteout, I can't see anything. Um, and I was driving around in Michigan with a friend of mine, and you, you couldn't see, like, the end, like, the hood of the vehicle. You couldn't see like the, the front end of the vehicle that you were riding in. The only way we could tell we weren't driving off the road, we had to look up to the telephone lines and see that we were still kind of in the same trajectory looking up. Yeah, it gets it's pretty terrifying. But like yeah, it's a lot. It's definitely you know, it's like, do I stop or and get stuck, or do I, um, oh, that's right, um, let's see, yeah, Jeff and Starzy had accidents, yeah, North Dakota gets rough, uh, had to slam on the brakes on 35 as we saw someone spin out a thousand feet in front of us, the brakes were completely in anti-lock, so we just had to let Air resistance, slow us down. That sounds about right. It's generally pretty terrifying uh, when that kind of stuff happens, but I mean, you really hope it's the most dangerous time is this first snow. <laughs> J 
Jesus is taking the wheel in this one there, pal. This first snow is the worst, because people kind of forget what they're supposed to do. There's my rabbit pelts. So I think, oh dang it, we need three rabbit pelts for this, shoot. Well, we can't quite make this yet, but because it's cured, then it won't be so stinky. And therefore, oh, I have some uncooked wolf meat in here, I should maybe cook some of that up. Um, once it's cured, it's not so stinky, so I can actually travel with it and not attract Wanted friends. The only thing I can do is a character here that just like works on me as a person. Something we can get better at. And there is something we can get better at. I'm gonna pick up some sticks. And we're gonna go. It might be too windy to make this happen. We'll see. You know, when you're stuck in the cold and there's nothing to do, it's, it's good to maybe work on yourself. See if you can improve any skills. Get a nice little... I think it's a little, a little dopamine boost accomplishing something. This might be too windy, but maybe this house will block us. Let's see. Let's see if it allows us to start a fire here. Start. We're, we're gonna grind out some fire skill, I think. We're gonna try. Let's see how, how successful this is. It's pretty windy right now, so it might not work, but we'll see. Something to do outside. Turned out pretty know. well. You know what I should be doing. I Maybe mean, I should cook that wolf out here. Come on. Not a bad idea. Turned out pretty well. Some of that wolf meat. We'll just use one of the fires for cooking the wolf. We got some more streams from some pals here. So I believe, and I, I don't know this for certain, but I believe um, Golf Cart is streaming some. Hearthstone, probably. We got Tembeat coming up at 7 o'clock with some Hades, I believe. And then after that, we have, um, at 9 o'clock, we have V. Kruger going to be doing his seed run, his Stardew Valley seed run. Oh, and then uh, later on tonight, Golf Cart's going to be playing Ori and the, is it the, Will of the Wisps is the second one. What's the first one called? Ori in the Blind Forest. Um, if you, if you guys guys and or gals want to throw some links in the chat, that's just fine. He's trying to get a speedy achievement. That's cool. I'm just going to keep lighting fires. Looks like all that kind of bad weather is starting to pass.
Lots and lots of good games tonight. Oh, look at that. What a nice... Oh, what a nice snowfall. This is what it just looks like outside right now. This is kind of... What the weather is. Here in beautiful Minnesota. It's a neat picking. Let me go get another fur log. Maybe I'll cook the rest of that meat right away. With the weather being at least decent, I should probably go to my other base and get my sleeping bag at the very least. Just because then I can... There's a cave really close by. I could just hang out in the cave if I start to get cabin fever. And that should be okay then. It's one of those things where you really don't want to get it because then you're forced to stay outside for a, a longer period of time, which sometimes is not conducive to survival. I'm really excited about winter actually happening because I'm really hoping to, within the next few weeks probably, do a little bit of some um, streaming of the great outdoors. I'll actually be outside. Basically kind of, you know, you could call it doing survival kind of stuff, or you could call it uh, LARPing, um, the long dark. It's kind of all the same kinds of activities, and it's basically just LARPing, but but I'd be having a good time doing some outdoorsy bits and bobs, streaming that, I think. Come on, come on. Pretty excited about it. Turned out pretty well. I'm just scaling up here on these fires. We actually turned the heat on today. I think I might win the the achievement of last person I know to turn the heat on. But I might be Oh, that'd be really cool. I'd be pleased Come pleased on. to join you on such a trip. I still have not been to the Boundary Waters yet. That's done. Have you, um... Does your... I can't remember if I remember right if your family does that on the regular or not. Going up to the Boundary Waters. Scout leader growing up who would take a trip every year and rave about it. That's right, you're in scouts. I totally miss the boat on being a boy scout, but I think everyone everyone can tell that I would have fit right in. I probably had a blast with that. Keep starting some fires here. Really just going with Come as on. chilled out of a stream Come today on. as possible. I thought about maybe taking the hike to my other abode, but ten beep stream all is right. starting pretty soon, I think. I think we'll be alright just with what we got here. How was our how is our dog meat doing? Thirteen minutes until ready? And 32 minutes until ready. Looks like our fire's gonna last long, Ed. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I kind of have a lot of them. 
a lot of pocket knives. I'm gonna burn my wilderness kitchen book. Because I'm too lazy to go find any sticks. But I feel like we've really we've made some progress here. Yeah, this is a nice day now. Maybe what do we got? Six fifty-seven. Let's uh I'm gonna have a snack and then I'm gonna walk to my I am gonna walk to my other place. I think I can walk there and walk back, honestly. Um, there might be some wolves around there, so we'll, we'll see how that is. Not too concerned. I don't really have a lot of water here, so I'm kind of inclined to at least just go and pick up some water. I'm going to grab, I'm going to bring my MRE with me, as well as a little bit more water. And I'm also... There's anything that's cured in here, actually. I should take it with me. It looks like there is no cured gut. When I get back, though, it should be plenty cured. So I'm going to grab some meat here. I'm going to have a snack. Delicious. And we're going to make sure that we don't have any stinkies. No stinkies. That's good. That's positive. I'm gonna grab my pot here. Cooking pots are really important. And we're gonna go on a walk. I'm just waffling hard on whether or not to walk to this place, but I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna walk there, check things out. Maybe I'll head up the uh, hill and check out the fire tower. See how that looks next time. That's a nice place to start over there, you know. Oh, I almost forgot about our meat. That would have been embarrassing. Pick that up. I'm gonna just pass time until this is ready. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to leave this right here. Yeah, just because you just keep forgetting it on the rocks for long periods of time. We're going to do, we're doing a little experiment. We're going to, I'm going to pick this one up. We're going to put this one just inside. We're going to see what the decay rate changes. So I'm going to just drop this. Um, this is where I stomp my boots usually when I come inside from the snow. Um, so that's for sure going to be the best spot to just put this cooked piece of meat. Um, it's probably still warm. I'm going to leave that there. And we're going to see when we come back if the rate of decay has changed at all and if if maybe it's better to just leave stuff outside. I mean, that's, that kind of makes sense, I suppose. Having a bit of a root cellar or something, but... I don't know. Let's just let's go on a little walk. When we get there, I'm probably going to sign off myself for the night. I've got plenty of bullets in my bullet machine. It's just like a nice sunny day. Look at that blue sky. Let's see if there's a bear around this corner. That'd be a bit of a chore. Oh, it looks like there's a trap over there. I think we're gonna, we're gonna leave that. We're gonna come back after a bit. Maybe we'll hear a wolf over here. I'm not sure. I am thirsty. Right. Am 
my dude here is just really well fed. He's having a good time with it. So although I can defend myself from wolves now with my gun, I still might be inclined just to just to pop a flare. Although flares are probably more rare than bullets. It's sometimes nice not to use up all my shots. I don't really want to deal with... I, I, I think to an extent I should kill a few wolves, because after I kill, I think, three or four of them, I can make a coat out of them, which is crafty. The wolf coat is very heavy, though. So, although it is warm, and has a little bit to scare away predators, it's just not the best in every aspect. We found ourselves a corpse here. That's good. Hello? Oh, it's empty inside. Ain't that the truth? Mark here. Keep an eye on the sky when you're playing the long dark, because those crows will often tell you a couple of different things. One thing they might tell you, as we just saw, is that hey, wandering winter man, there's a body over here and you should check it out. The other thing that they sometimes tell you is storms are coming, or nighttime's coming, and it's good to kind of watch them and see if they seem to be fleeing. They'll usually fly away from the direction of the storm. That one's a little bit harder to pick up on, but it is a good indicator that maybe it's time to find some shelter. I saw some wolves up there last time, so we're going to stick to this left path. I don't know how well advised that is, but we're going to scale this hill and uh, see if we can get a little bit of a gander at where some of those wolves might be hanging out. See those crows flying away? That's telling me that there's a storm not too far off. What time of day is it yet? Getting a little bit later in the day. I do hear a wolf though. So maybe we'll be able to see it enough early enough to be able to go around. so good. We're just about at our base here. We have a lot of food at that trapper's hut, so I really only want to stay here for maybe one day. I could even consider just grabbing my sleeping bag and heading on back without much delay. Yeah, there's a wolf over there, way down that way. So we chose the right path going left. There's a deer. I could I could take it out and harvest it, but I don't really need to right now, so we're gonna wait I'm a few days off. Uh, mm, mm. What do y'all think? Should we should we harvest the deer? Might be a good cadence, and then it's curing a little bit longer. It's pretty close to a location to be easy to put into the cabin. I just don't know. I'm just kind of walking away. 
do need some new pants and some boots. Which I think I have the best boots. We're gonna skip it for now. Oh, change directions. I'm just waffling so hard today on everything. We'll see, maybe it just depends on whether or not I can get it. Well, geez. That answers that. See if I got it. It was a terrible shot. You know, I'm not seeing. Yeah, I missed. There it is. Well, that's okay. We weren't really that sure about it anyway. I'm gonna collect my shell case in here. I picked it up with my feet. We'll go get our sleeping bag. Then I'm gonna take a. Do I have any. I do have some fishing tackle. Look here. Oh, we got wolf flies. Okay, not a lot of wolves in the way of the fish houses. That's good. So we're just gonna, once I get in here, I think I'm just gonna save. And then we do something over here with this computer. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna raid 10 beeps. Um, we're gonna raid 10 beeps channel. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna raid that. Thank you so much for joining me on my stream. It was, it was so nice and relaxing. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow in um, sharpening time. Sharp, the sharp zone tomorrow. Sharp zone, uh, sharp zone A. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be awesome. See you then.